top three things this morning in my notebook. Number one, the UK. Number two, the price of oil. And number three, the 10-year bond yield. So first on the UK, just fantastic data, fantastic run. As you know, the, the British pound is up 4.2% uh, versus the US dollar in the last six months. It's up over 8% versus the US dollar in the last year. And they're getting basically what you get when you have a strong currency, which is lower inflation reading. So this morning you're getting a UK inflation reading for the month of May of 1.5% down from 1.8% last month, which puts it at its lowest level since 2009. You're seeing home prices in the UK accelerate to up 9.9% year over year. And you're seeing the UK in a very good position and ready, standing ready to raise interest rates. Looking at oil prices, uh, if you're looking at a UK oil price, you're probably looking at Brent. That this morning is up at 100, what is it, 112.43 for Brent oil. Oil, down 0.3% after being up 4.3% last week. So again, when you look at a rip-roaring bull market in something like the price of oil, uh, you learn a lot from the down days. Now, this isn't much of a down day. It's one-tenth of what the up week was last week. So again, oil is ripping humanity a new one. And anyone who refuses to accept uh, that inflation is accelerating here in the U.S. on a U.S. dollar-adjusted basis is just being plain intellectually dishonest. Finally, the 10-year bond yield understands everything that I've said so far in the top three things. Of course, uh, inflation accelerating does slow U.S. growth, and when you look at growth factors in the U.S. equity market, uh, the consumer in particular is underperforming, whereas anything slow growth yield chasing continues to perform utilities up to 12.8%. That leads the way uh, for the year-to-date alongside REITs. So again, yield chasing is in vogue as the 10-year bond yield continues lower. The 10-year bond yield, uh, by the way, is not different this time. It is signaling which most economists are starting to do, which is cut their U.S. GDP growth estimate, uh, so looking for the Fed to do more of that tomorrow. And those are your top three things.